In this tutorial, we're going to cover effects presets. You'll see here that I've already imported some media into my project. I've got three layers created, and I've also got three screens here for my outputs. And if you need any more information on how to achieve all of those different things, you can check out the individual tutorials we have on those functions online at renewedvision.com. So we're going to come back over here and look at layer one, where I have this abstract cheer gold media playing back. But I've added a color filter to actually change that to a bluish color. And then I've also blurred it pretty well just to make it kind of a little less uh, absolute with those you know, lines around the circles and whatnot. And I've made this effect here and I kind of really like it. And maybe I want to be able to apply it to another layer here in my project. Well, luckily I can do that by saving this exact collection of effects along with all of the settings that I've changed as an effect preset. So I'm just click up here where it says no selection and you'll see right off the bat, I've got two separate options. Number one is clear effects. And if I was to click that, it would remove all of the effects from the layer. Number two is save as. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose save as, and I'm gonna save this as blurry blue and select okay. When I select okay, you'll see that it's immediately applied to the layer there. We've got the name blurry blue showing up under effects preset now. If I click back on that, I've got a couple more options now that you can see here. And of course, there's clear effects again. Next up is unlink preset. So if I unlink the preset, the effects are still going to be live in the layer. That simply means that I can make any changes, do whatever else I want with these effects, and then save it as another one, but it's not going to affect the original preset that I had created. Underneath unlink preset, there's also save as. So if you made a bunch of changes and wanted to save a new one, then you could select save as there. And you'll see if I add another effect to this selection that I get a star next to the name of my effect preset. And that's simply denoting that there's unsaved changes on that effect preset. So if I click that again, you'll now see I have a save option and I can select save on that. And now that star has gone away and my effect preset now includes all three of these effects. So if I click back on the effects preset, then you'll see down here at the bottom, I've got the name of the effect preset with the check mark by it, letting you know that it is currently active. And if I mouse over it, I can see the three individual effects that are in this preset. And then there's also an option right here to delete the actual effect preset. And when I do that, it's just going to be removed from this list and I no longer can select it here as I have deleted it. I'm gonna go ahead and save as again, and we'll just call this the same thing just to make sure we get it back. And there's blurry blue, and it's now gonna show up here as the effect preset. So what if I wanted to add this to a separate layer in the project? So I'll come over here to layer three, where this media is playing back. I'll select no selection where it says effects preset. Then I'm going to choose the blurry blue effect preset. And you'll see as soon as I do that, that that effect has now been applied to that layer and all three of those effects with the exact settings as I left them have now been applied and are playing back on that layer. That's just about it for effects presets. This just gives you the ability to choose that same collection of effects and apply them to multiple layers here in your projects and also multiple layers on any project that you create on the same machine as these effect presets are going to supersede the specific project that you're currently working on. For more information on PVP3 or to look at all of the other tutorials available, visit us online at www.renewedvision.com.